Yeah, Look at Sunday. that. We're both quite tired, aren't quite we, Chris? Tired. It's a company called Aptera. And I think it's fascinating. They're currently raising funds. So let's just have a look at this presentation. It's eight minutes. I really suggest you watch the whole thing. It's fascinating. And we'll talk about the investment case a little bit later in the video. Um, I'm joined by two old friends, Chris, CEO and founder of Aptera and Aptera, look one of that. the most remarkable and exciting new electric cars in the world right now. Now, we're not going to do a full episode on this newly we unveiled are, gamma by the way. prototype because, well, it's a scene of chaos behind me. Chris <laughs> Eight and the Aptera enough. have caused a bit of a stir at our humble show this weekend. This thing has been swarmed since Saturday look morning when they first wow. took the covers off it. So, we're not going to get too in detail. We're not going to give you the absolute I love that unveiling. Like, look Saturday at this unveiling. Wow, first took look the at that. Off it. So, we're not going to get too in detail. So cool. We're not going to give you the absolute basics about Terra. If you have no idea who these guys are, pause this, go check out our main channel. I don't think we need to do that, actually. Um, I think I can analyze this. And... God, go and watch it. What we're so, do had today, some previous Chris, prototypes. Is we're going to have a look around Gamma, and we're going to take a look at some of the key changes, because this is your latest and greatest prototype. It is. I drove Alpha, which was looked quite finished, but wasn't that finished. We took a spin in beta, which looked very unfinished, but was actually a little bit more finished. Yeah. And now we have this, which is kind of a combination of both. The engineering is there, and it's starting to look like the finished article. Bit, yeah. So tell me a little bit about Gamma. Yeah, uh, Gamma has changed from beta that you drove in terms of the production content that's in the vehicle. So we're calling Gamma an 80% production content vehicle. It's our third stage in a four-step program to get us to production. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Um, you've ridden in alpha and beta. This is gamma. We've refined it since beta, and we only have one more step till we get to production uh, and a production to 10 design by the end of the year. So How some of the big changes um, from alpha and beta since you've seen it is uh, the wheel pants, first of all. So it actually speeds yeah. up the air towards the back of the wheel pan, and it sucks the high pressure uh, towards the rear, which is what the whole vehicle does. The cambered body actually takes the high pressure zone that forms in front of the vehicle and it speeds up the air under the belly and sucks it to the back of the vehicle. The problem with most modern vehicles today, an SUV or sedan, is you've got a big blunt front end and the high pressure zone that's created in front, it can't go anywhere. So we're off the ground more. Um, the aerodynamics of this have changed such that the nose is a lot pointier and a little lower. The whole vehicle is actually longer by four inches, so we can talk about that when we're in the rear. And the suspension is much more refined. Obviously, we want air to flow through the suspension as nicely as possible. So the the Alpha that you drove was was kind of kind of yucky in the suspension area. I mean, that's probably uh, one of the most beautiful very suspension components I've ever seen in my life. It I is. You had one of these exposed for me when I paid you a visit, and you were very proud of this shape, which again has been fettled. Uh, through sort of it, it, lo it looks of... more like an aircraft, but it you know, it really it's, uh, does. It, it's very, very tough. That's the main suspension member of the whole vehicle. It takes okay. all the shock loads and everything, so it's very strong. And then just design-wise, a few tweaks here. These, uh, this, this little strip of lighting looks new to me. Yeah, all the lighting is new, and obviously uh, beautiful um, ultrasonic sensors in the wheel pan, so you can see where you are in relation to other vehicles and curbs when you're parking. Okay. Um, obviously, uh, this vehicle has finished an operational solar on the dash and the roof. You can option up the up wow. chair with an optional solar, solar hood yep. and tailgate. In the front um, and the back. So that full solar package will get you 40 miles of free solar range. 40 miles. From the sun every day. And every day. One, right, is the first uh, prototype that you've actually integrated the solar panels on. Is that correct? Yeah, it was only last That's week exciting. that we finally had full solar on a vehicle. And? Charging success. through our charge controller to our 400 volt battery pack. Total success. We had... That's really big, guys. So that's 40 miles a day of free energy, of free miles that you can go with the solar car. I don't think I think that's very new. I haven't seen that with any other car. Um, I've seen it with a with a lorry, and that's in my other video. If you care to watch that, Sun Swap. That's a company making solar powered lorries. But this is a consumer product. That's a B2B product for supermarkets and wholesale uh, food companies. But this is a B2C product and it looks very exciting. It's stylish and it has this solar paneled front and rear. Let's watch more. We have a super efficient charge controller. I'm so proud of our electrical engineering team and our solar team wow. to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. You test everything on a bench. We had a solar mule that's outside, but it's burning through resistors or charging a small battery pack. It's, you know, it's, you test all the pieces, but this is now all put together and it's all working. It's amazing. I love it. Phenomenal. And if we come down the side a little bit, Chris, 
I'm going to get Andy to get some close-up shots of this. He's going to have to fight some people to achieve <laughs> that. But these are the most beautifully, yeah, seamlessly so cool. integrated solar panels I've ever seen. These are completely flush with the bodywork. You almost wouldn't spot that they were there. So yeah, cool. aerodynamics is very important to us. So everything's conformal and super flush. We have our own proprietary solar stack. We make our own solar panels. Mm -hmm. um, these uh, uh, solar interconnects are proprietary. Uh, we've shown them off on this vehicle, uh, but in production, you won't see them as much. Look at that. This is their home show thing, but look at the actual look at vehicle this itself. Guy. Oh, wow. that's, that's what, 6.8? I could swing a captain here, Chris. <laughs> that's properly roomy. So this interior looks nothing like the Alpha that I sat in. Nothing like the Alpha. Spin job. Yep, much, Tell much me, what bigger. What am I looking at? We've got a yoke steering wheel. Yep. Do we have quite quick steering angle? We do, yes, yes. Okay, that's good, because that annoyed me about the plaid, is it yeah. was a yoke, but you had to get crossed up in order to... Oh, uh, it's speed sensitive, too. Oh, nice. So yeah. the, actually, the, the speed of the steering mm -hmm. rack is... Yeah, so as you go faster, you know, it's uh, it's it's less torque on the wheel, that's so you stay in lane. Yeah. That's, that's like yeah. supercar yeah. stuff. Okay, and what else and am the, I looking at the here? side view um, image system is here, so you can always keep your vision through the windshield. Yeah but you can have a sight picture of what's going on on the side and behind your vehicle okay. right oh, in front good. of the steering wheel. So the screen here is essentially my, 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 my wing mirrors, but just yep. right in my line of sight. Right oh, that's of that's smart. What else? This is a really interesting don't material in the center don't car. Know why that's, the um, that. that's pineapple leather. <laughs> uh, it's a very cool material. We don't know if it'll make it into production, but okay. we wanted to try it. It feels good. It's interesting, isn't the, it? Uh, the, the story behind the center console is that it's made with three different elements, and we're going to work with aftermarket suppliers to make those three different elements available to our consumers. Yeah. And they can make them anything they want. They can be chargers, storage, they can uh, you know, be cup cool. holders, or yeah. whatever you want. The drive position is just it's real sports car stuff, isn't it? And my yeah. feet are kind of in parallel well, with Keep my watching, car. guys, because we'll get on to the, uh, the, center screen the now commercials, the, the actual company the screen. Uh, shortly. So you have side and top and bottom, and you can direct that. Uh, Remember side to, side to, the to get to notified, the driver, and it gets make really sure to subscribe, guys. Around the interior, which makes get our cool air companies like this. Which is, of course, very important because it'd be a real shame to so waste the a lot of energy company. heating a cabin exactly. having done all this clever work. Yeah. And then since coming around the back, any noteworthy changes? This. Obviously, we're a bit longer, so I'm guessing we've got a tiny look bit more space, which there was plenty of to begin Whoa, with. Whoa, it's massive. Yes, yes. Um, it's four inches longer now. Uh, so you'll notice from the side profile, it's a good bit sleeker. Yeah. But the floor is actually lower, too, by 50 millimeters. Oh, okay. So if you push the seats forward, you have seven feet from the back of the seats seven to here. Seven feet. You can sleep two people. So you can with sleep deep in the car. Feet up there. Dog wow. in the middle, under the stars, yeah. solar charging during the day. Nothing That's so place. cool. And then what else? What else do we need to talk about before we wrap this up? This uh, is, uh, is it a three-wheeler. Yeah, it's like a three-wheeler. Like three charge port. This Tesla charge port, nice. which is just superior engineering, Tesla is is uh, ready charging. for use and ready for charging. And then, as far as the company, what stage are we at now? We've got Gamma. When can we expect the next prototype? What are you guys? Are you here taking pre-orders? Are you looking for investment? What's We're hoping to have a production intent design done by the end of the year. Yeah. Uh, but. Some of that is gated by investments, so we're here asking people to go to invest.aptera.us. Yeah, we'll look at the investment the in a moment, yeah. And with pre-orders and investment, we hope to have uh, our production lines ready into next year and scale production in 2023. How many times do you think you've said all of this this weekend? Several times. Oh, a few times. Are you tired? <laughs> Uh, I'm drinking a Red Bull now, and I'll be good to go in two minutes. Congratulations on being the star of the show. Thank you. Well, there you go. A very speedy, brief look at the latest iteration of Aptera's remarkable... Okay. Now let's look at Aptera. Okay, so... You can actually invest in the company, which is cool. So they have an investment website, invest.aptera.us. Minimum investment is a thousand. We'll talk about that in a minute. Thirty thousand people have reserved a car, representing one billion dollars in potential revenue. That's that's crazy. Um, yeah, that's mad. So you know they've got pre-orders, which is helpful. Um, we've seen this story before with Tesla. If they don't deliver on these thirty thousand, then um, they could have some angry customers. But they're looking to raise funds as well. They think they can get um, the market size is 600 units, 600,000 units per year with sales ramping up to 10,000 units per year by 2023. So it's going to take them at least three years to, to fill out their order um, for the reserves. Um, so this is just the economics of it. Um, so we want to look at that for now. It listens to drivers with prices as low as $26,000. 
ranges up to a thousand miles it gives you 40 miles of free driving every day anyway so you could probably easily save um i don't know two or three hundred dollars maybe more a year a month sorry just by buying this so that's that's really interesting look at that um look at that roof it looks gorgeous and that's solar panels amazing vehicle efficiency um Created from the ground up with engineers, etc. 30% less energy than other um, electric hybrids. That efficiency allows that Terra to have a much longer range. So the range is going to be a thousand miles per charge, whereas the Tesla Model 3 is about 300 and whatever, 380. So that's interesting. Remember, they've only got one car though. So um, maybe in a future video, we're going to look at the um, offering circular and I'll go through it. And um, because it's, it looks like it's going to be about 30 pages. Um, but for now, it's a three wheeler, which is interesting, but it still looks, I mean, from the front, it just looks fantastic. Um, from the back, it doesn't look as good. But, you know, with the efficiencies that you'd save potentially thousands of pounds, dollars, euros a year driving this, the fact it's only 25 grand as well, the fact you can sleep in the back, you know, so it can be like, a you know, your holiday car as well. I think it's amazing. Um, about the thousand dollars, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and talk this through because I have had some questions about, you know, how do you how do you value a company and uh, especially a startup company, early stage, that kind of thing. How much should one invest in startups and angel investments? I've had that kind of question as well. And it, angel investing is not a scientific approach. Uh, valuation is not very scientific. Even science, to a certain extent, you know, gets updated every every couple of decades or whatever. In some cases, faster. Um, so, what one believes to be gospel or, or quote unquote truth in science changes. Valuations are incredibly complicated. I am going to make some videos, probably a video series, on how I look at valuations because there's a lot of different variables to take into account. Now, going back to the thousand dollars, this Aptera um, raise is for a thousand dollars, right? It's the minimum. And um, one way to think about portfolio management for angel investments is how many swings of the bat do you get? And swings of the, by swings of the bat, I mean, it's how many times, uh, sorry, how many attempts can you have at trying to get to 100x? But that's the kind of, that's the kind of, um, rep, like, ideally, that's the kind of return I'd be looking for between 10 and 100x. The close to 100x I can get great. So how many swings of that? can you do now if you've only got 5k to invest five thousand dollars pounds whatever then you don't get many chances because this is a thousand you know blended is a thousand miso is a thousand allies are a thousand a lot of the minimums are a thousand not always on cedars the platform that i recommend and i've got a link in the description i think the minimums are 10 pounds or ten dollars often you know as low as that so it depends on the platform but a lot of these they're looking for um, they're looking to generate millions and the way to do that is to have a minimum of thousand dollars. That is typically the way having said that Crowdcube and Cedars and a few other platforms have no minimums and a lot of companies do raise five, 10 million on those platforms. I've invested in some of those, uh, money box being one that comes to mind. So go back to the question, how many swings do you need? That will really depend on, um, on your decision-making process, how well you pick and also to a certain extent, um, the probability of these companies succeeding and outside factors as well, because it's not an exact science, right? Going back to Aptera, so I will do some other videos about valuation, portfolio management. Again, it's not advice, it's just going to be my opinion and different ways to think about it. And I have done a previous video on um, what, like ways to think about portfolio construction and, and, and strategies to do that. And I've kind of I haven't lent in hard into what I do or, 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 or gone into depth on it, but it's, you could check out that video if, you, if you're waiting to see my video on portfolio construction management and how much to invest, etc. Uh, that will come in the future. Back to Aptera. I, I, the reason why I like $1,000 is because I kind of feel that it's attainable for most people. You know, if, you're, if you've got a lot of money then you you know and you want to invest 100k into angel investments that's 100 stabs at the you know it's 100 attempts 100 swings of that and if you get three of them 100xing you've you've turned your 100k into into 300k right 
if you have a modest, more modest amount of 20,000, you still have 20 shots. Um, so that's why I like, like Aptera, you know, car companies are notoriously hard. A lot of them do go bust. The failure rate of a car company is really high. So I, at the moment, I'm not going to say whether I'm going to invest in this or not. I'm going to review the offering circular. I'm going to go through the document. It's going to be a bit more detailed analysis, etc. Um, there will be some things I understand. There'll be so, I imagine there's always things that I don't understand because it can be quite legalistic, uh, legal knowledge, etc. Um, but you know, the more you look at these kinds of things, the better you get. So that's um, part of the process I'll be sharing in the next video for Aptera. Guys, if you're interested in cool companies, you know, I do invest in solar energy companies. You know, I have that background with my grandfather, etc. Basically, yeah, uh, not inventing it, but more or less inventing solar energy. Um, and so I've got the interest in solar energy and renewables ethical investment, robotics, new technology, software as a service, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to um, check out the other companies I'm investing in or doing videos on, check out the playlists. And if you want to just learn more about the space, about whether it's um, solar vehicles, I've got um, I've got SunSwap as my other video, which looks at this in depth. You know, they've already managed to do it with lorries. So they're ahead of um, Aptera in the B2B space. And they've got big companies like I think like Tesco and big supermarkets around the world interested in the B2B solar um, lorry space. This is on the B2C side, so it's a bit more sexier for the masses if you like. But um, yeah, check out my other videos. And if you want to help the channel, smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any cool raises, cool companies and updates from companies that you might indeed be investing in as well. Remember, guys, knowledge is power, especially the right kind of knowledge and progress is everything. I'll see you guys in one of these videos. Take care. Cheers.